Uh, love your show. Thank you very much. I'm asking for a friend who a has friend. <laughs> uh, who has budding young artists in her home. They love to use the walls as their canvas. How do you get nail polish and crayons off the wall? Yes. Well. Okay. The young artists at work. <laughs> exactly. Well, I mean, you know, I love how she said a friend because yeah. I think everybody's got a kid at some point that has drawn on the walls. Yeah. I mean, listen, I had a friend of mine who had nail polish in her hand and, and turned to talk to someone and it went flying across and hit the wall. So, I mean, it happens. Not These things happen. Yeah. Right, not just kids. <laughs> well, first we'll address the kid situation. You have crayon on a wall. One of these little magic erasers. You oh, don't I even need those. water. Oh, I love Mr. 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 Clean. Yes. It's not eraser. the best yeah, noise in the world, yeah. but it takes it cool. right off. Yeah. So you know, don't fret. Yeah. Those are really good for scuff marks, too. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. They're great for that. So yeah. these are your friend in the situation. Now, the nail polish. Okay, so we are going to, I think the natural inclination when you hear nail polish is nail polish remover. Yeah, or paint right, right off, off it. Would it. Exactly, work? so yeah. the nail polish I mean, remover will pull everything yeah. off. Right, nail polish is like, a, a, like paint. So yeah. I would think that that would thin your paint. It exactly right. does right. that. And then, and then the other scenario is you're gonna paint on top of it. That doesn't always work either because it's paint on top of paint and nail polish will come right through. You will see that come right through. So right. that's not gonna work. We have to try to get as much off as we possibly can. So we're gonna take a rubbing alcohol pad. I'm just putting it on top of the Q-tip so I have a little control over the situation. And this is gonna look like it's getting lighter because it's just hitting the paint, but when it dries, that will actually go back to the regular color. But you can see it's lifting. You see you that? You have some patience, too. Yeah, you, you have to have some patience. See, first I would try uh, warm, soapy water, but if not, you're gonna take the Q-tip and rub right over it. Now, it may take some of the paint off, and in which case, I hope that you save some of your extra paint, but the key is you wanna get the majority of it off and then paint on top of it. And you should be it. all I brand new. I would just new. say, it, it don't buy anything but clear nail polish to your children who are old good enough point. not to paint on your walls. That's a good one. I like that idea. Switch to clear nail polish. There you go. Right. That's my simple solution. Um, so two of my ladies are leaving. Thank you so much to Dr. Raj and Tanya. Coming up next, I'm gonna cook.